In this video, I'm going to show you how to use these $6 totes to make an effective quarantine tank for your fish. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to set up this quarantine tank. Uh, here is the tub that uh, I bought yesterday. And I've rinsed it out really thoroughly with hot water. And just to make sure I get any kind of residual chemicals off or anything like that. And then I'm going to put it up here. There isn't a lot of room here, but if I want to do a water change, I can pull this out a little bit. And so let's fill this up with water. And I'm going to get some more. Okay, so that's that's about 10 or 12 gallons, something like that. Now I want to give the fish some cover, and so I've got some rocks, and if they want to hide or something, they can do that. And I'm just going to sort of randomly place these in here. And then they need to go behind the rock and hide or something. I found that fish are a lot more comfortable if you give them an opportunity to do that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the water as safe as I possibly can. So I've got this big old pump and I'm not going to use this when I have them because this is more of a commercial pump and it's just too loud but I'm going to drive off as much of the chlorine as I possibly can. So we'll put that in there and then I'm also going to use a water conditioner and uh, I've got this topped in here and this will also help with the chlorine and the chloramine. Just a little bit more, that's a little bit too much. Didn't have my glasses on, couldn't quite see the line. All right. So I've also washed the lid because as the water comes up and it, it gets on the lid and then drips back down, I want to make sure this is good and clean. And so we'll put this on and then that will also prevent them from jumping out. So I'm going to shut the pump off for just a second so I can talk. For filtration, I've got a spare corner pump and this is fully submersible and this is probably going to sit out of the water a little bit which is just fine because then the water will spill over and it will help aerate the water because I don't have right now a spare pump and so I'm not going to use this industrial pump when they're in there only now between when, when we go get the fish so I'm going to put this in a little bit later right before the fish show up and when I take that uh, big old air pump out of there. Alright I've got my aquarium heater in there and I'm going to get the filter installed. And now like I said, uh, because that's above the water line, we're going to aerate the tank and you can already see the bubbles there. And I'm going to get everything stable and running and then we'll get our fish. So I picked up six Buenos Aires Tetras. They're only two bucks a piece. You could buy three and get one free. So I guess I should have got seven, but I got one for free. But anyway, they've got, that's a nice schooling fish. And so we're going to quarantine these for a couple of weeks. So I'm going to float the bag here and get them temperature stabilized. And then I'll start introducing some of the water in. Those rubber bands are really hard to get loose and I'm going to introduce some of this water in with the fish. And then I'm just going to take a clothespin and then do that one more time and then I'll let them loose. Okay, well it's time to let them go. Okay, 
Yeah, I can't quite... Well, I can still see them pretty well through here. I want to clear on the sides so that I can see if they develop any parasites or problems while they're in quarantine. Yeah, and I think if I get a light in there, I think I'll be able to see them pretty well. Well, it's been a little over 24 hours, and they're doing just fine. And here I'm going to give them a little bit of frozen brine shrimp, and I found out these are really active tetras, so I'm not sure I'm going to put them with my main tank, but I've got another tank that they might do well with. So this is a pretty inexpensive way to quarantine your fish, and you generally don't have to buy too much, uh, depending on how much equipment that you already have. In this case, the only thing I had to buy was the heater, because I didn't have a spare, and of course the tub for the tank. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.